I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Five of Wands, and it's with the King of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Wands, as you can see in the picture, it refers to competition. Usually, this could be work, career, or personally, but we'll put it this way, work, career, or it could be family and romance or romance. So it can sometimes refer to romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Just know that you have something to offer and you can be successful. But when you get the five of wands, you're going to have to try just to see results. So, the need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever. Hold your head up high. Have faith that you'll end up in a place that's right for you. You may be thinking of making a career change when you get the five of wands. Just know that you can be successful if so. Now, it's with the king of pentacles, which speaks of authority, tradition, success, and money matters. When this card appears in a reading, it's actually a sign not to be a maverick. Now is not the time to be a maverick, but it is the time to follow the established way of doing things. <clears throat> so, when this stands for an actual person in your life, it refers to someone who's masculine could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. And if it's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is a man who you can, yes, you can believe in and trust absolutely. <clears throat> so, Leo, the recent past energy, five of wands, clarified by this king of pentacles, so the message that I'm getting is that there was someone, the person you were dealing with, they wanted success with you, they wanted success with the connection. Because like I said, the King of Pentacles is about success, it's about, it's about being secure and committed. It's a very good energy, this King of Pentacles. It can be about being stable. Um, King of Pentacles makes a really good father. So there was someone who wanted something stable and solid with you. But this person, they could have been a drama king or a drama queen because just by looking at the picture of the Five of Wands, it's a card above the word pass. You see, there's five men in the picture, and the four of them are about to beat each other up with their sticks or their wands. But you got your person off to the side. You're just smiling and grinning, and they're enjoying the fact that these people are competing for his attention, fighting for his love. Yeah, he's got this huge silly grin on his face. Yeah, so it could be about romantic rivals. Your person, they, they brought a lot of romantic rivalry to the connection, and they enjoyed it. They like that you probably, um, it probably, put it this way, it, it fed your person's ego. So, 
if it bothers you, I hate to say this, but they probably like the fact that it annoyed you. A drama king. They like to stir things up. Um, these people that are beating each other with their sticks or wands, it could be unhealthy friends or family members of theirs that try to um, cause problems. And like I said, this person is smiling. So, some type of competitive situation, maybe. Your person was always bringing to the mix or always involved in, and they enjoyed it. And if, if it was other men or women, romantic rivals, or, or romantic rivalry, um, they enjoy that too. So you had some, some type of, yeah, you were dealing with some person that liked to bring in a little mess into the connection. But they want success with you. Just know that because, like I said, the King of Pentacles is um, about securing and being committed. Now, coming up, we have the King of Cups. That is with the Six of Cups. Now, the King of Cups speaks of a balanced male and feminine energy. He holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. He'll often indicate an actual person or man in your life. Usually, when it represents a live person, it's referring to a very kind and loving person. This person will have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but that could go either way. Just know when you get the King of Cups in a reading, you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen. When you get this card in a reading, it's about kindness and compassion. Kindness and compassion when you get the King of Cups. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is, when this card appears. Now, it's with the Six of Cups. Yeah, the Six of Cups can actually be a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. So it's important not to spend too much time and effort and energy thinking about the good old days. Because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can actually become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So, Leo, coming up, King of Cups, clarified by the Six of Cups. So the message that I'm getting for a lot of you is that, yeah, you, you, You've got someone or you've been dealing with someone that wants success with you. That's why the King of Pentacles is there for the recent past energy. But they bring a bunch of unnecessaries into the mix. Now, unnecessaries could be different things. I explained it, I explained it to you. But anyway... Coming up, it looks like you could be thinking about someone that you used to know. Maybe this person was someone that you used to know last month, a month ago. It doesn't have to be a long time ago. But you had, or you made a lot of happy memories with this person. Yeah, maybe it was somebody from a long time ago. And you might be thinking about reaching out to them because the King of Cups, he's got, he's got a cup of love in his hands. Yeah, I know it's the new year and I know what the, how that song goes. What does, how, what does it say? Let old acquaintance be forgot. But yeah, for some of you, you got somebody that you can't forget. 
yeah, that's what it looks like. Six, six of Cups is about looking back, about some really happy times. But it's saying it's important to focus towards the future. So if you find yourself looking back, ready to pick up that phone and reach out, it's saying it's important to focus on the future. You might not want to stay stuck on the past. Yeah. So you're dealing with someone that wants success, but your mind and your heart is elsewhere. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, so for the challenge, we have Four of Cups and so the Two of Swords. Now, the Four of Cups can be a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and to count your many blessings we each currently experience. And not to worry too much about what could be, because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure you're counting your blessings. And don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life, it actually has to do with where we put our focus. So try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. Four of Cups is with the Two of Swords, which tells us that your partnerships, they're likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, business. However, you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it could just be time to bring things back into balance. But this does require communication, open communication. So your challenge, Leo, Four of Cups, clarified by this Two of Swords. Yeah, so... Hmm. Okay, this is what I'm picking up. Alright, like I said, we're dealing with two people here. Somebody that you're thinking about reaching out to because there's happy memories. And then this recent past energy person who probably invites other men or other women or un or unwanted family members into the connection because they like drama. That person who wants that person who wants success with you. The challenge is showing that is showing that you're gonna start to block them. Because your mind and your heart is someone is with someone else. Yeah, two of swords, a card below the word challenge. That's avoiding and blocking. So, yeah. You're gonna, it's showing that you're going to block them. You're going to start avoiding them. And they'll have regrets. Four of cups, a card above the word challenge. It's about having regrets, wishing you did things different. It can be about feeling devalued and feeling unloved. So, yeah. You're choosing to avoid this person. And they're very sad about it. Yeah, they're wishing they did things different. They're wishing they didn't bring so many other people into the mix. Because they know that it bothered you. And now you're you're thinking about someone that Yeah, you got someone that you have a lot of happy memories with. And it's showing you're, you're thinking about reaching out. So let's see what the outcome is. We got the Will of Fortune ends with the Six of Wands. Now the Will of Fortune, it's a card that reminds us that this too shall pass. 
Whether it's good times, bad times, it passes. If all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective. As that too, like everything else, changes. Live in the now. Count your blessings. And just realize that much of life is really outside of our control, but even that's okay. Roll with, roll with the changes and think positive. Okay, so it's with the Six of Wands, which signals victory. So if you're anxious about court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, just, just know you'll be, you'll be victorious. This can indicate any kind of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration, or maybe you're receiving a reward for good work that you've done. Six of Wands makes you feel really, really good about yourself. You could feel as if you've got a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Yeah, I like the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is that magic, it's that chemistry, it's... Yeah, just look at the picture of the Six of Wands. You see how she's, it's a card below the word outcome. You see how she's standing on the podium, on a podium, and she's waving her wand in the air from side to side. And she has all these people below her, and they're doing the same as she's doing. They're mimicking her. She likes the attention. And they like giving it to her. Victory and success, Leo. And you got the Wheel of Fortune. Luck. Luck is on your side. Fortune is in your favor for the outcome. Yeah, so... I don't know, like I said, I've seen a couple of people in this reading. One of them you... You're deciding to avoid and block, and they just have big time regrets and just wishing that they did things different. And then the other one is someone that you used to have a lot of happy memories with, and you're thinking about reaching out, offering that couple's love. And the outcome is saying that you are going to have so much success, it's going to be victorious. Luck is on your side. Maybe it's not with either of them. Maybe it's someone new. Maybe it's maybe it's not an actual person that you're going to have victory and success with. Maybe it's a situation. Maybe it's some something that you're working towards. But this outcome is beautiful. I I like this outcome. This is one of the best outcomes I've seen in all the, over all the readings that I've done. And I say that because it can go in any direction. It's not saying it's necessarily with a person, but it could be. Because she's got all these people below her. And when you talk about... When you talk about um, the Six of Wands, when it comes to relationships, it suggests that you it suggests that you or your person could be the type that likes having their ego stroked, or their, or they need someone to boost their ego, while the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is called fire of balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. You get a lot of sexual energy with this six of wands. There is passion and long nights spent in bed. Okay? Just keep that in mind. So, the outcome could be a person. It could be one of the people in this reading. Yeah, so if it's someone that's, that's you're reaching out to, it's saying it's going to be successful. And it's going to feel like the two of you, this type of person is someone that 
Um, you got a lot of great chemistry with. The two of you will feed off of each other energetically. Um, this, type, this person is going to feel like um, you've known them all your life. So I'm getting for a lot of you, it's the person that we talked about for coming up. Yeah. We talked about you offering your cup to someone that you used to know. And it's saying, good fortune, luck is on your side. Yeah, the will, the will is there in your favor. So, that is the reading that I have for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I'll also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Leo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well. And staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Come back and join me for the next Leo reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, if you are not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, co-worker, situation. Just take the readings for however it resonates. And also, keep in mind, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. So, Leo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you had a wonderful holiday. I'm wishing all of you happy New Year's. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day. And take care.